My name is Claire Elliott. I'm the Associate uh, Curator for Research at the Manila Collection in Houston. And uh, 2013, I organized an exhibition uh, on the painter Forrest Bess, also from the Houston area. And I'm very uh, pleased to be all the way in Cassell to see this exhibition. Um, I believe I first came across Forrest Bess in, um, in the context of uh, our exhibition of Texas art uh, for the 150th anniversary of the state of Texas. Um, and I kind of, he's somewhat known in Houston and a little bit about the biography, which is so um, interesting. Uh, and when I got to the Manila Collection, I realized we have a kind of group there and there's quite a bit of correspondence between him and the de Manils, uh, So I was able to kind of um, uncover a little bit more, um, which just makes you want to know more about uh, Bess and, and, um, and his story. Um, he's a very interesting artist. Um, he's very much kind of in between being an uh, outsider artist uh, and not. Uh, he identifies himself as outsider artist, but he was showing at Betty Parsons Gallery, one of the um, most um, avant-garde galleries of the 50s and 60s, uh, and so uh, he's he kind of occupies um, uh, both spaces, uh, although he does kind of, it is hard to position him um, in the kind of very broad story when you look in the specifics. Um, it's a more complicated story, the sort of abstract art in the mid-century, um, and so Bess is part of that and yet also apart from it. Well, today's art uh, world is um, very engaged in kind of conversations around gender, around sexuality, um, around identity, um, and these were all um, questions that Bess was grappling with too in, in a very early time, so I think it is very significant um, for contemporary art today. And it's also very interesting that he was using painting, um, this kind of old-fashioned um, form of art, um, to kind of grapple with these, these questions. They do present a challenge, uh, and it's something that um, I struggled with and continue to struggle with, um, especially this biography that uh, kind of threatens to overwhelm the actual paintings. So it's always very nice to come back to the actual artworks um, like you can in an exhibition like this. Um, also, although it is a challenge, I also think it's like an interesting opportunity. So you can, um, of course, strive for objectivity, but also um, feel free. Sometimes you have to make assumptions or speculations uh, when you're um, constructing this um, information about this. Well, I'm standing in front of one um, that I'm resonating strongly with. I mean, um, there's many that I really do um, think are spectacular. I hadn't seen this one before. I was here yesterday, um, only in reproduction. Uh, and when you see these in person, um, it's so tiny, uh, but and it's kind of simple. It's just black and white, um, but it has texture and dimension, uh, and it's kind of opening onto this kind of vast, sort of sky, um, even though um, in reality it's only a very um, modest kind of size. <laughs> 